Our world is filled with incredible researchers conducting fascinating studies. There are so many areas of research, not just here on Earth, but so much further beyond. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent discoveries out there in space. Mysterious heartbeat detected coming from cosmic gas cloud. A heartbeat is, of course, what keeps us all alive, animals and humans alike. Throughout the natural world, we show we are in tune with one another, with our surroundings and with ourselves through the rate of our heart. This brilliant phenomenon is now being used as an analogy, describing the synchronized pulses of a strange cloud of gas and a black hole way up in outer space. Is there some form of intrinsic connection between the two? What is causing this strange heartbeat to occur at all? Scientists have discovered that a cosmic gas cloud seems to have a heartbeat in which it is emitting a gamma ray that is yet to be explained. A statement released from the DESI National Research Center in Germany reported how an international team of astronomers made use of data obtained from the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico alongside measurements gathered from NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope. From this information, the research began to take off, having pinpointed whereabouts the gas cloud was. It can be found in the constellation Aquila, more colloquially known as the Eagle. This gas cloud is pulsing, or seemingly beating, to the same rhythm at the same time in complete synchronicity with a black hole. This black hole sits 100 light years away, leading the researchers to believe there is some form of link or connection between the two celestial objects. A quasar is the brightest thing we know to exist within our universe. A microquasar is, as the name would suggest, a small version of this. Typically, they consist of a large black hole bringing the huge source of light as it engulfs stellar objects surrounding them. This black hole in particular forms one aspect of a microquasar system called SS-433. Also part of SS-433 is a star 30 times the mass of our Sun. This star and black hole orbit one another within the microquasar system, with the black hole gradually taking in matter from the huge star. This constant pulling of matter ends up with a disk forming around the black hole. Zhan Li, the lead author of the study this international research team conducted, said that this material accumulates in an accretion disk before falling back into the black hole like water in the whirl above the drain of a bathtub. He goes on to explain that some of the matter does not fall down the so-called drain that is the black hole, but rather it is launched at a high speed as two narrow jets from one another, in opposite directions, one above and one below the accretion disk. This jet is made up of particles moving at incredibly high speeds, combined with strong magnetic fields. These jets cause X-rays and gamma rays to be emitted, both of which were then detected by the Fermi Space Telescope. Researchers have explained that the jets shoot out into space along an uneven path, spiraling instead of firing in a straight, linear direction. This is thought to be a result of the accretion disk wobbling as it rotated. The microquasar sways over a 162-day period, mirroring the behavior found in the data gathered for the gamma ray that was leaving the gas cloud with a heartbeat. The research team suggested the cloud, named Fermi J19130515, had a heartbeat as a result of the microquasar, and that this SS433 system may be what was powering the rhythmic beating. The one thing that is still baffling researchers is how there is an influence upon the microquasar from so far away. This puts a significant amount of space in between the black hole and the gas cloud. Researchers, although they have made this connection, are unclear how the two items have become intertwined in such a manner. Lee described the link as an unambiguous connection via timing, though explains that despite the somewhat irrefutable relation, we still have no idea exactly why this link is present. More observations and research are needed to begin to decode this mystery, though for now, this is just one more thing we do not quite understand about black holes. NASA is set up to explore a massive metal asteroid. 
We are all familiar with asteroids and are a valuable research material. NASA are beginning to investigate an astonishingly large asteroid reaching a staggering 140 miles in width. This is 16 Psyche, the huge asteroid that NASA is hoping to find the ins and outs of in 2022. Researchers have managed to research the light reflected from the asteroid, and the data suggests the asteroid could contain iron, nickel or gold within the celestial object. It is no secret that asteroids can be immensely valuable. The only catch here is that by the time asteroids make it to Earth, the atmosphere tends to have destroyed a great deal of the material. This asteroid is estimated to clock in at a grand total of $10,000 quadrillion. For reference, according to Statista, in 2020 the global economy was worth $84.5 trillion. 16 Psyche was first observed in 1852, spied in the main asteroid belt lying between Mars and Jupiter. This places it three times further away from the Sun, and it takes five years here on Earth to complete one orbit of the Sun for 16 Psyche. Principal investigator from the Arizona State University, Lindy Elkins Tanton, said that if it does end up being one part of the larger metal core, this would be the first discovery of its kind in our own solar system telling us about the first generation of early cores. She speculates the above, but clarifies after, but we don't really know, and we won't know anything for sure until we get there. Research into this asteroid could reveal what materials contributed to the formation of our planets. We have not got too much information on 16 Psyche as of yet. We are yet to have a mission reach the asteroid, Though a NASA mission, also named 16 Psyche, is set to depart in August 2022, looking for more answers. Even more difficult, however, is conducting observations from here on Earth. Through our telescopes from home, 16 Psyche appears as nothing more than a fuzzy blip on the screen. Satellite telescopes, like the famous Hubble Space Telescope, are unable to capture a large amount of detail, unfortunately. We have been able to draw some limited conclusions thanks to the work of radar data scientists who have been able to figure out how the asteroid rotates and that it has a somewhat oval shape. When NASA sends their mission off, 16 Psyche will be observed for 21 months by an orbiter spanning 435 miles above the surface of the asteroid. Elkins Tanton said, We don't know what we are going to find. I'm expecting us to be entirely surprised. Hopefully, as we begin to unravel more and more, we can understand the specifics behind the asteroids that keep us company within our solar system. 2018 VG18 There are plenty of mysteries within our universe, things we haven't solved and questions we are waiting to answer. One that sits a bit closer to home is the search for a mysterious ninth planet. Planet 9 is a hypothetical planet that sits beyond Neptune. There are some objects in space thought to be in the space between Neptune and Planet 9. These are known as trans-Neptunian objects, and their unusual behavioural patterns are credited to, you guessed it, Planet 9, a planet that we are not even sure exists and have never found. 2018 VG18, also known as Far Out, is one of these trans-Neptunian objects. The name Far Out, as you would imagine, is because it is a decent distance away from the Sun, 15 billion kilometers in fact. This object broke records as it became the second most distant natural object that we have ever seen within our own solar system. Observations indicate that Far Out seems to sport a pink color, suggesting that the surface is rather ricey. Other characteristics include the low brightness and little on-sky motion. The Mauna Kea Observatory in Hawaii was where 2018 VG18 was first spotted in the autumn of 2018 by three astronomers actively searching for trans-Neptunian objects that may have been influenced by Planet 9. The research into trans-Neptunian objects is incredibly exciting. It is entirely possible that Planet 9 does not exist at all, nonetheless. With each TNO found, it becomes more likely that we will stumble across the object that will lead us to the hidden planet. But 
what do you make of these major scientific discoveries that have expanded what we know about our planet and beyond? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.